passionate, strong, skillful. These are some of WA's most talented footballers, but they're not men, they're women. Twelve players from the Coastal Titans Football Club represented WA in the first ever women's derby, while the team is also led by WA Academy coach Martine Pierman. One other player also has a strong connection to the Titans, and they're one of the country's best footballers. It's not Matt Prittis or Nat Fife. Her name is Emma King. She was the number one pick in the 2015 women's draft and has been playing football since she was just eight years old. Emma says she can't wait to play in the national competition next year. It's the first ever national league for women and um, I've dreamt about it when I was a little girl, used playing with the boys and it wasn't a dream back then but now it's finally becoming a reality. The Fremantle Donkers will have to wait until Sunday when they play... Footy expert Basil Zemplis is the father of two young girls. He believes the women's league will help the game grow. I can only imagine that the numbers are going to go through the roof once we get this um, competition up and running. And, and it's exciting. And uh, Ava loves having a kick of the footy with me. She's only five and Chloe's two and a half. And she enjoys trying to kick it. And, and so why should they have to put that away? Because there is no further opportunity to play. Last year, female participation grew by 46%, with over 284,000 women playing the game nationally. Over 500,000 tuned into Channel 7's first ever broadcast of the women's match between Melbourne and the Western Bulldogs. With teams on both sides of the river, will these girls behind me get drafted to the Fremantle Dockers or to the West Coast Eagles? Keep your back flat, butt cheeks squeezed, tummy on, and push straight up. Leah Maskell represented Fremantle in the Western Derby. Outside of football, she is a full-time physiotherapist who understands what it takes to be a full-time athlete. She hopes the launch of next year's National Women's League will help bridge pay gaps between male and female athletes. All women and girls need the opportunity to play sport at an elite level, regardless of what it is. So to have that opportunity in football is a huge step for, for the sport and for the game just to continue to grow as well. Um, obviously they're talking about payment for next year as well, which is going to help with the girls that are working full time and they've got to work around mortgages and, and having a life outside of sport. So that's certainly going to make the, the steps a lot easier. Well, we love playing the sport, so why not let us play? We hit as hard as the boys, we play as hard as the boys, we go in as hard as the boys, so you just have to watch it. If you're the um, father of young girls like I am, um, well, why wouldn't you want to sit them down and say, have a look, you can do this as well.